Boom shakalaka, huge warning for Ethereum and altcoins. You'll definitely want to stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including huge warning for Ethereum and altcoin holders. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, it helps out a lot. Now today, fear and greed, 67 down from yesterday's 70 and last week's 70. Three people are a little bit less optimistic, but still pretty greedy. The overall market sideways from yesterday, Bitcoin at 42.216, Ethereum at 22.47, BNB at 2.46, XRP 62 cents, Solana $74, Cardano 61 cents, Avalanche $41, and Dogecoin 9 cents. And Bitcoin right now sitting at the critical levels, resting right now on this support trend line at $42,000. Should we break through to the downside? would likely find support on the convergence of the 50-day moving average with this long-term trend line right around 38.4. Now, that being said, we are getting pretty darn close to something called the halving for Bitcoin. 91% of the way there, well, if we take a look historically, this was up and this was, well, up, even though it had a pretty big swing in the middle of it. So it looks like gradually up until... The halving. As a matter of fact, every time the DAX index has made a new all-time high, Bitcoin has risen significantly from this point. You can see a new all-time high right here, each of these yellow dots. And look at these huge Bitcoin gains every time that happened. DAX index currently making a new all-time high, 2024, and potentially 2025 may be life-changing for many out there. This, however, is not the top, maybe close to a mid-cycle top. Now, based on 0.618 FIB levels, the mid-cycle top would be roughly $47,000, so we haven't reached it yet. But we do have a flag in this signal down here on the bottom, the nine-day RVGI, where the first time it goes through, generally a mid-cycle top or very close to a mid-cycle top. The second time, and sometimes third time it goes through, that would be a local peak or big peak well, it's really not that close on all of them. But the first time at mid-cycle top, right around $47,000, when people are getting somewhat exuberant in their greed. And if we take a look at the Bitcoin on Hike and Ashi candles, very clearly, you have a red downtrend, green uptrend, over and over again. We are in green uptrend area. So even if we do have a mild retracement down to that $38,000 level, again, overall, we are going up slowly at first, but then much more quickly because... The VI indicator, the volume indicator right here, suggesting that we have already hit takeoff level for Bitcoin when it changes from red to green each time. This signal has never missed a bull run. So that's coming. But I did promise in the beginning Ethereum and altcoins. So let's get down to it. Turns out the altcoin market cap has just crossed above the two-year MA which is the same as we witnessed before the uh, the previous alt season last time. Also, we have a bullish cross on the MACD. Both of these things correlating very much to a massive altcoin rally in 2020 with alt seasons following soon after. Clearly, under this green area, under the two-year MA, is the best time to accumulate, but now is probably the second best time to accumulate. If you've been waiting for a signal, this could be it. As a matter of fact, Bitcoin tends to lead Ethereum, and these charts look very, very similar. It turns out, breaking out of this wedge right here, we might have Ethereum coming up to these levels, oh, maybe $3,000 before too long. Who knows that? How about some Ethereum whales? As you can see right here in blue, the Ethereum, some of the largest Ethereum whales have been on a buying spree, scooping up over 100,000 ETH in just the past week. That's a whopping $230 million. Somebody knows something, and they are buying a lot of Ethereum. As a matter of fact, over $19.7 billion flowed into Bitcoin and Ethereum recently. You can see right down here with the green. This is the same levels that was seen back here in 2020 before Bitcoin surged from eighteen to $65,000. So we could see a massive rally on the horizon for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bullish cross of the MACD for Ethereum last time this happened went from $220 to $4,800, 20x. What could we do this time? 20x, that would be pretty ridiculous for Ethereum, but it's certainly possible because the total crypto market cap 
has broken through the baseline of the Dantian channel down here in blue. This is just the beginning of many month long altcoin rally. You can see here, it took almost a year and a half here, same. Well, the altcoins have never broken through to the bottom until after the market top. So right now, again, every signal saying this is the bottom, this is it, things are taking off. As shaky as it may seem, well, this is likely the beginning. So that's all the beginning of everything, except for this episode, because it's the end of this episode. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.